Analog SCPC and FDM is dead, said the grieving people about two years ago, and then they buried their analog receivers and their C band antennas. There was only one who didn't believe this Paul Marsh from the United Kingdom. He's a specialist of satellite communication of the third kind, and he provided us with satellite information, frequencies of SCPC and FDM. So, what was needed? A C-band dish. And this one we could find by the satellite specialist in Munich, Jürgen von Wedel, from Bavaria Satvision. Analog SCPC and FDM are live indeed, and we would like to briefly explain to you what it is all about. Most viewers are probably familiar with the term SCPC. The abbreviation stands for Single Channel Per Carrier. Small TV stations use this transmission method in digital television if they are not part of a bouquet. Analog SCPC is used nowadays for audio communication. Small, low-power terminals are sufficient to establish a reliable connection in regions with no or poor communications infrastructure. Government offices, telephony operators, the military and embassies use this means of communication via satellite. FDM stands for Frequency Division Multiplexing. FDM is used in analog telephony. Terrestrial connections are grouped together and are made into packages. Former AM signals appear in the package on the satellite in SSB mode. There is one connection for each direction at a 4 kHz offset. For a duplex call you therefore need a bandwidth of 2 times 4 kHz. We'll tell you more about that some other time. Today we're going to take a closer look at SCPC communication. To succeed, you will need several items. First of all, information. And it is available from Paul Marsh's very informative homepage at www.uhfsetcom.com. There are not only frequency lists available, but also instructions on how to build antennas and special LNCs. His own page is a must for all dedicated out-of-band amateurs. If we want to know what countries and uplink stations use SCPC on which satellite, then it is imperative to have the Earth Station Service capabilities. It also comes in handy when identifying the country of origin of a particular SCPC communication. Now for the hardware. We need one antenna for C-band, not below 1.8 meters, but it might work with 1.6. One satellite receiver controlling the antenna. It steers the dish and switches to the desired polarization and delivers the voltage to the C-band LMB. One broadband receiver capable of tuning into signals between 950 and 1450 MHz in FM with a bandwidth of 6 or 12 kHz. One satellite antenna splitter, maybe a power blocker and some coax cable. Before we can hear anything, we have to activate our mini echelon system. The antenna is pointed at the desired satellite and the appropriate polarization is chosen. Before we do that, we already connected the LMB cable to an antenna splitter. Both receiver outputs are connected to the satellite receiver and the antenna input of our broadband receiver. But be careful. Make sure that no LMB voltage is going to the broadband receiver. A splitter with only one power pass output will help us prevent that. In case you don't have a splitter like that, you can use a so-called power blocker on the output to the broadband receiver. It lets the antenna signal pass, but not the voltage. Now the equipment is ready for reception. The IF frequency of C-band is between 950 and 1450 MHz. When we find a valid frequency of an SCPC signal on 4.010 GHz, we need to figure out the corresponding IF. Don't worry, it's not that difficult. The local oscillator frequency of C-band LMB is 5.150 GHz. We subtract the receiving frequency, in our case it is 4.010 GHz, from 5.150 
and get as result an IF of 1.040 GHz or 1040 MHz. And that's what will set the broadband receiver to. Our victim is Intelsat 1002 and as we mentioned before, C-band. This satellite, even in the stone age of satellite reception, has been a paradise for actual classified information. If the antenna is properly set, we should hear something immediately in the range of 4.011 and 4.014 GHz. This will only work if the broadband receiver has been set to FM narrow and can be tuned to small frequency step selection like 1 kHz for example. We find a signal immediately and what we are listening to is a business conversation from the Central African Republic. The uplink originates from the 7.3 meter teleport Babarati. If we search in small steps, we notice that the band is full of communication, from confidential business conversations to a simple private talk of boyfriend to girlfriend. And that is what we are listening to right now. <laughs> Both of them entrusted their secrets to the Celtel Malawi Limited uplink station. Celtel sends out the signal from its 3.8 meter antenna to the satellite and half of the world is listening in. African secret service organizations with their limited budget are using this open communication for their dirty operations. SCPC is quite old as a telephony service but the phones used are even older. You can hear the pulse of the old dial. And when the soldiers of the self-proclaimed world police stationed on Diego Garcia want to call home, or military attaché needs to handle some issues, then they all trust in cable and wireless with their Diego Garcia 3 station. But they shouldn't, since secret eavesdroppers are always listening in as well. This is about classified information, so we stay out of it. When tuning into a narrow bandwidth signal, we notice that a frequency stable LMB is very important. After a couple of seconds, the signal disappears and we have to adjust the VFO. This happens here on Intelsat 907. It is possible to decode PSK signals via software now, but you should definitely use a professional grade LMB for that. Or you can check with Paul Marsh for DIY instructions. Where do we find SCPC signals? Intelsat 1002 is your first choice, because it's easy to find. This satellite is followed by Intelsat 907 at 27.5 degrees west, then there are the Inmarsats in C-band, Atlantic Bird on 5 degrees west, primarily with PSK signals and the Express 4A at 14 degrees west. This ought to be enough for starters. If you feel you need more traffic, then you don't want to miss our upcoming feature story about FDM signals.